Exercise 47, Nested Function, Lower Concatenate, from the Excel 2007 Core Exam Prep Guide, brought to you by Shifkey Solutions. In this exercise, we're looking at our IT list here, and we want to create a, an email address for each of our folks in our IT department. Well, the email address is for the most part standardized. The email address will all be the first name underscore last name and then at the domain name of itschools.edu. It's all standardized so I can begin typing those in here but boy that'll be a large waste of time. So I'm going to create a formula that will create this for me that will take this information and combine them and then also lowercase them for me. So I'm going to here, be here in cell D3 and begin my formula with an equal sign. And then I'm going to start typing lower. There it is. And then I want to concatenate. There it is. So the first thing I need to ident identify is what do I want to concatenate first or combined. And in this case it's going to be the first name. So it's going to be A3, comma, open quotations and in this case I want to separate them with an underscore and then close quotations comma and then B3 comma and at this point this is where I can add the domain name the standardized domain name as long as it's within quotations so I'm gonna start with open quotations and then put at IT school dot edu close quotations and then we need to close our parentheses we have one two open parentheses so I need two closing ones it's that simple let's see what happens I'm gonna click my enter check mark and look at that that is quite nice now if I double click this it should fill it down wow that just saved me a lot of time very nice. Now granted this is just for demonstration purposes but this makes for uh, a great exercise. That concludes exercise 47 nested function lower concatenate. Thanks for joining me. Next will be exercise 48 substitute function.